So for me, leadership is something that will inspire people so that others, more, others follow that person. And this kind of English Olympiad, it actually inspires the little ones to come out up front, to talk to people, to motivate other people. Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Ishika Majabin, Divisional Coordinator of Silly Division, English Olympiad Season 3. So today as a guest we have Maisha Taslim Ma'am. She uh, she's a consultant of HIHF and she has a PhD in leadership. That is amazing. So how are you feeling today, Apu? Well, it's amazing to be able to observe and participate in such a grand event it's itself is called a celebration so it's it's amazing feeling yes that is true the children are running around and everything's pretty but. fun so have you ever been to any other english on piat uh, no this is my first time it's your first time yeah. all right this was and time. how is your experience like overall today's experience all how's it been today's experience is amazing like i said like everyone is participating everyone is full of life there is positivity around so of course it's a great feeling for me that is amazing and as you mentioned that you have a phd in leadership mm -hmm. and our motto is about inspiring leadership mm -hmm. for english Olympiad. so what is your thinking point of view regarding the word leadership okay so i'm currently doing my phd hopefully we'll get the degree soon so for me, leadership is something that will inspire people so that others more uh, others follow that person and this kind of English Olympiad it actually inspires the little ones to come out up front to talk to people to motivate other people so of course for me leadership is someone who will inspire other to do good yes that is an amazing answer yeah. and uh, what is your in general thinking regarding um, uh, spreading English all over the world okay now English of course is a common global language and to be able to express your feelings in English is important because you need to uh, express and present your idea in front of globally, right? Yeah. So, of course, English is important. And I would like to say to the students, like, don't take pressure. It's a language. It's a practice area. This is a practice place. And English Olympiad actually gives you the platform so that you can sharpen your skills in this uh, language uh, speaking uh, platform. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And uh, as you've come to today's program, you're seeing a lot of students. Of course. And do you have any expectations from English Olympiad? My expectation would be continuing this amazing thing over the year. And maybe I, I'm actually seeing that everything is in a grand uh, pace. So I think just to continue this legacy over the years would be amazing. That is amazing, yes. And do you have any final message to the next further participants who are going to be participating in season four and further season? Um, for me, uh, I got to know about English Olympiad, I guess, a little bit late. But I would definitely love to see my son participating in English Olympiad. So if there is any scope for the little ones, like five years or six years students and if there are more uh, announcement on that or publicity that would be amazing that is amazing that was all for today's interview thank okay. you so much thank for you. your time yes thank you so much everyone for staying with us this is ishika mazabin speaking to you the whole time thank you thank you